Good evening, everybody. Uh, not a full video tonight. I just have something quick to show you guys that I've been working on. Uh, I've been talking with Mark, one of the followers online, and he was telling me that his car starts all the time when the heat is on. And um, he couldn't figure out why. Um, I've done videos for you guys right up to minus 30. And if we get in and force EV mode, I've done a few trips where the engine doesn't start. But Anything below minus 30, every 10 minutes or so, the engine starts. We think that's to keep the oil moving. We're not sure. I figured out why Mark's uh, vehicle starts when he has the heat on. I'm going to show you guys. I knew this 10 years ago. I forgot. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. So I just got home from the gym. The car is not fully charged. I think we've got about... Uh, four kilowatt hours left in there, something like that, but enough to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to start the vehicle in EV mode. We do that by holding the EV button and pushing the power button. I can't do that while I'm holding the camera, so give me a second. Okay, so the car is in EV mode. We've actually got uh, less power in there than I thought, but enough to show you guys. Minus one temperatures. That's better, you can see me. Minus one temperatures tonight, and I finally figured out what's going on. We came from the gym, and uh, I played squash for two hours. I was all sweaty, got in the car. The windshield was fogging up. I turned the heater on and put it on defrost. The engine started, and it clicked in my brain. My 2008 Ford Escape Hybrid would not go into hybrid mode when the defrost uh, when the heater was set to defrost mode well guess what if we start the car and we put the heater on auto that's fine the uh, check valve in there will open at whatever temperature you set and you'll get heat and you can run in ev mode all day long even up to minus 30. but if you put the heater on defrost the engine will start so we had forced ev mode here in the car and the heater was on when we did that, set to 23 degrees, and it has not started running because it's on auto. Watch what happens when I put it on defrost. Oh, the engine started immediately. Immediately upon pushing that button. It's a safety feature, guys. I don't know if the um, other models other than the North American model do this, but this is standard practice dating back to 2008. If you put your heater on defrost, the engine is going to start. What will happen is it will run, do its five minute heat up cycle, and that's to generate instant heat to clean off your windshield. Once it goes through the cycle, it will shut off and go back into electric mode, unlike the old uh, Ford Escape but this will force the engine to start and that's because they're trying to get you instant fast heat let's just let the car shut itself off here it'll do its thing and then we'll put it back i've turned it back onto auto we'll put it back on defrost and see if the engine kicks on again so we already showed in one other video um, in case anybody missed it that it doesn't matter what temperature you set your thermostat on you can crank it right to 31 high and it will use the same amount of electricity as if you have it on 19 low. So it doesn't matter if the heater is on, it uses the same amount of energy. It's gonna knock 10 kilometers off your gasometer. So if you're gonna use the heat, don't be afraid to crank it all the way. That makes no difference. However, don't put it on defrost unless you have to. How I get around that is I crack the two windows, I'll have the heat on and uh, just on auto so it's coming out all of the vents and I keep the side windows just down a hair and that keeps the windshield clean. And I've made it all winter not realizing that that defrost button will start the car. Okay, so the car has turned off and we've got the heat on auto. As Soon as we put it on defrost. It's not gonna do it because it finished it finished the warm-up cycle. So once it goes through its warm-up cycle, there is enough heat coming off the engine to have that thermostat open. Even if we're in electric mode, it won't do it. But I'm going to let the car sit here for half an hour, and we'll come out, start it again, and I'll show you. As soon as I push that button, the defrost, the engine will start. 
Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I left the garage door open so the car would uh, cool down. We've started the car in EV mode again with uh, the defrost in auto. What happens when we push the defrost button? There we go. Engine starts instantly. Point proven. And it's only minus one tonight. So that's how I figured it out. It's not that cold. So there you go.